We've got our frying pan. We're going to fill it with canola oil an inch or two deep. Put that on high. While that's heating up, we're going to get our wings ready. Just get a cookie sheet, lay them out. We're going to put them at 350 degrees until they're hot. 350 for 10 minutes. When the timer goes off, if they're not hot, they're not kind of sizzling, give them a couple more minutes. To see if our oil is hot enough, just sprinkle some buttermilk in your pan. If it sizzles like that, we are good to go. Go ahead and stir up your onions one more time. Make sure they're all completely coated with buttermilk. Okay, a couple things. Get your lid ready. Take some rings. Cover them in the flour. Put them in the pan. Work in kind of smaller batches, a couple at a time. Especially these are so big. But this is where the mess comes in. We're going to make a little bit of a mess here with these. But it is going to be worth it. It's going to spray oil everywhere, so keep your lid ready and on it. It's cooking just a minute, so don't go too far. Our wings are done. They are hot and sizzly. Bring them over, put them in a bowl, or on a plate, platter, serve them up. A little blue cheese dressing, a little celery. Mm, mm, mm. These are done. Take them out. See how they're nice and brown? Take them out, lay them on a paper towel. Do another batch. While these things are cooking, you can get the other things ready. You can put your dip in a bowl, you can put your chips in a bowl, get everything up for your little snack buffet. You can clean up. <laughs> As you're doing these small batches, if you want to, you can put the ones that are done on a platter, put them in the oven like around 250 degrees just to keep them warm. But they stay relatively warm as long as you don't let them go too long. Again, you want to do this right before the guys come over. Mmm. Sometimes you shouldn't even invite your friends over. Just make this stuff. And it's super good. Mmm. Again, this is Game Day Snacks. My name is Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads. Before we sign off, we gotta do one more thing. Okay, we made quite a mess, as you can see. And we're gonna actually, before we finish up, we're gonna clean this up. We have to get a grease cutting cleaner like this. Fantastic. And spray it. I like using paper towels for this. Spray it all over the cooktop. Wipe that up. You don't want to use your regular rag because this grease tends to stick in it. And then you have to do it twice. So that things cool down before you do this so that you don't get burned up here on the, on the cooktop. Take this over to the sink. Rinse that all off, make sure all the grease is off. All right, now come back. Spray down this stuff. It up. It's kind of like camping. You want to leave it the way you found it. Spray the front area too. Tops. Hopefully next time you say, honey, can I have the guys over? She'll say, no problem. One of the big questions I get is, Rob, what do we do with the oil when we're done? You want to keep a container like this that has a lid on it and a big opening. Just pour it in. You do not want to pour this oil down the drain. Here we go. We're just going to go for it. We failed somewhat miserably. This is like live TV, people. We don't take second shots. Put your lid on, clean up the additional mess you've made, put it in the trash. Now you're done. Cook well, it's worth it.